Today's lesson video, we are going to look at chemistry 1502. This is the first lesson video of this module. Introduction, we are going to look at the structures. This is lesson 100. Let us start. For the basic introduction, we are going to use one of the most simplest functional groups, which is alkanes. Remember, it's very important for you to know the first compounds that we are going to use in organic chemistry. So we are going to use alkanes as our introduction functional group. Now under alkanes we have methane. Methane is the first compound in alkanes. Remember alkanes, they consist of only a single bond. And then looking at methane is the first compound which consists of carbon and hydrogens. The structural or Lewis structure of methane is like this. And then looking at the molecular formula, it's CH4. We only have one carbon and then we have four hydrogens. Looking at the condensed formula, it will be the same as our molecular formula. There is a general equation to actually generate the molecular formula of alkanes, which is CnH2n plus 2. So in this case, what is n? n is the number of carbons. So in this case, you have only one carbon, so it will be C1H21 plus 2. So it's C1, 2 multiplied by 1 it's 2 and then 2 plus 2 is 4 then we're going to have something like this this general formula only works with alkanes our second compound is ethane it consists of two carbons remember that carbon is trivalence it has ability to bond four times Now alkanes, we said they consist of only single bond. Uh, those single bonds are between carbons, not carbon and hydrogen. So this is the Lewis structure of ethane. Now looking at the molecular formula, we can use that equation, but we can quickly write it down. We have two carbons and then looking at hydrogens, we have one, two, three, four, five, six so it means our molecular formula it will be c2h6 this is the molecular formula of ethane now looking at the condensed formula condensed formula it's something like a summary we look at the first carbon how many hydrogens do we have we have one two three so it's c1 h3 looking at the second carbon it also has three hydrogens which is C you don't have to actually write this CH3 and then we have CH3 so this is the condensed formula of ethane now in tertiary level there is another way that we can actually represent this which is line angled structure some call it the stick figures or stick structure now stick structure we cannot represent methane using a stick structure now what is the stick structure of ethane it's simply something like this it's a line and then you should know that each and every end of the stick there is carbon but we don't have to represent it actually we don't represent it using the c's we simply represent using a stick Our next compound is propane, which consists of three carbons. Then it has single bonds between the carbons. And then we have hydrogens.
then looking at the molecular formula we have three carbon so it's c3 and then we count the number of hydrogens it's one two three four five six seven eight so it's ch i mean c3 h8 and then looking at the condensed formula we can look at the first one second one third one the first one consists of only three hydrogens the second one it has only two one two so it's ch2 and then the last one it has three ch3 now looking at the line angled structure of this we said it's one two three so we only have something like this this line angled represents propane Now I believe you know how to actually draw the Lewis structure so we are just going to look at the condensed molecular formula and the line structure of the following compounds. So the molecular formula of butane, let us use that equation quickly. So butane is 4 carbons, 4 H4 plus 2 so 2 multiplied by 4 it's 8 plus 2 it's 10 so it's c 4 h 10 looking at the condensed we are going to have c h 3 c h 2 c h 2 c h 3 so we, we, when we add this we should get 10 when we add the carbons we should get 4 and then looking at the line structure we are going to have something like this it will be one two three four so we have four carbons remember the ends represents the carbons looking at pentane we have c five and then two multiplied by five is ten plus two is twelve and then looking at the condensed you can see the trend we have c h three CH2, CH2, we need to add, to add another CH2, CH3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we have 3, 5, 7, 10, 12. And then looking at the line structure, we are going to have something like this. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, done. Hexane, we are going to have CH, I mean it's C6, C6H, can assume that we are going to have 40, since you can see the pattern. Now the condensed is going to be CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. Uh, CH2 again and then CH3 So we're going to have one two three four five six and Then we can see when we add this we are going to have 14 Looking at the line angle structure of this we are going to have something like this It's one two three four five six In this lesson video, we will be dealing with actually how to represent structures. Lesson 101 is where we are going to look at how to represent structures when we have branches and also look at nomenclature, how to name these compounds. That's it for this lesson video. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.